Welcome back to you forever, back again with another video. I'm back with another taste test video, kinda sorta. Um, so I'm still in St. Louis, as y'all know. If y'all haven't watched my vlog, please do. I have not been able to post any video like I really want to. Only ones I was able to post since I've been out here is my vlog and some Big Brother videos that I filmed on my phone, some reviews. So check out those videos. It'll help me out a lot because I haven't been able to post the videos that I recorded before I came out here that I thought I was going to be able to post and edit. But like for some reason, I just can't. Maybe I'll go to the library, but I ain't got time for that. So I'm about to try St. Louis style pizza. St. Louis style pizza and St. Louis um, toasted ravioli. I keep saying fried ravioli, but it's called toasted ravioli, actually. So I'm about to try that because it's known in St. Louis. Where is it? I thought they had a picture. Of, oh, so they have a picture of the toasted ravioli right there. There. Yeah, so I'm about to try it. I never had toasted ravioli. I'm not even really that big a fan of ravioli. Can't even remember the last time I had it. And St. Louis style pizza. I honestly, I really can't lie to y'all. I already had it. I already had it and it was great. But y'all about to get a second reaction to me having it. I had it like three weeks ago when I first got here. I had it on my third day here, actually. And I'm about to try the toasted ravioli. Just, it's about to be kind of a taste test video. Kind of like just me trying St. Louis style pizza and ravioli. But in this video, I already ordered the pizza. I got a deluxe and um, added pepperoni. And because for some reason, the deluxe don't come with pepperoni. And I got the toasted ravioli. So it should be here any minute now. Order delivery. And I will see y'all when it gets here. All right, y'all, so it's finally here. Let me try to make it look fancy in the right way. All right, all right, y'all, it's finally here. Emo's Pizza. This is supposed to be Chicago, I mean, uh, St. Louis style pizza, thin crust. Oh my God, it looks great. It looks great. Can't wait to eat it. And the ravioli, let me get that out. All right, y'all, I haven't opened these yet. I haven't seen them in person. I'm about to open it now. Okay, yeah, it looks just like it looks inside the picture. And I guess this is some, it's called meat sauce, actually. I was about to say, I guess this is a sauce, but I just remembered. It's called meat sauce. At least that's what I, let me check. Let's see. Toasted ravioli with meat sauce, yeah. All right, anyway, so, I guess it's about to be our taste test of it. All right, y'all, so. It's right here. I told y'all I'm filming on my phone, so that's why y'all can't see the desk. Kind of weird. I don't know how I can show y'all. So, but anyway, I'm about to try it by itself first before I dip it inside the sauce. Uh, so I guess here we go. I don't know what that is inside. Not bad. Not nothing like I would buy a lot. The ends are really hard. Not really like hard bread. Hard, you know. So, not sure what this stuff is inside, but I'm about to try with the meat sauce now. Mm. Much better. The meat sauce actually tastes like ravioli. I mean, when I dip it in, it really tastes like, I get the taste of ravioli, like what I imagine it tasting like. I don't like the ends because it's too hard. Hmm. It's good. It's good. I don't even see me buying these though. Like, they good, but they're not like super good. 
by any means. They good though. They are good. I wish they weren't so hard on the ends though. So I ate two, and like I said, they were really hard. So the ends were hard. So kind of didn't want that, but I will recommend these. These are actually pretty good. So toasted ravioli gets a thumbs up for me. I like it. I really like it. Now on to the emos pizza. Well, I already tried this, so. I'm gonna just give my little description on what I thought of it when I tasted it. I'm not into thin crust, but honestly, this was so good. And I thought, like, when I was eating it, I was like, I think the cheese is what's really making this so good. Also, as you can see, they don't use bacon bits. They actually use, like, bacon pieces. Um, and I really don't even like pizza with green pepper and onions, but my friend who recommended me get this said you should get the deluxe. It's really good. I noticed that it didn't come with pepperoni, so I did add pepperoni to it. You can see it right there. And like, I don't know, like, I don't like onions or green peppers and I barely even like mushrooms on pizza, but put it all together and put it on Emo's St. Louis style pizza and it's pretty good. I really like it. Um, anyway, I said that to somebody at work, like, I think the cheese is what really, really made this pizza good. Like, it's unique. I don't know what type of cheese it is. And she was telling me it's like pro, pro, like she couldn't remember how to say it. I'm like, provolone. She's like, no, not provolone. And I'm like, huh? And then the girl says she was inside. The grocery store and she saw something called Provel. And the lady's like, yes, yeah, Provel. It's Provel cheese. Like you can buy it in the grocery store and you can like make it yourself. Like the Provel cheese really adds a lot to this pizza. It's so good, y'all. I'm not even lying. It's so good. Y'all should definitely try it. St. Louis style pizza gets two thumbs up from me. I loved it. I love it. I wish I could take this back home to Michigan. But that's it for this video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video on all on social media. Let me know if y'all go to St. Louis and y'all try this stuff thanks to me. All right, y'all. Catch you later.